Carl here from Games, Brandon Headbang, Live GBH, well at Comp for sure, and it's my pleasure to be standing here with Raging Speed on. Gentlemen, how the hell are you doing? Very good, thank you. <laughs> Amazing, thank you. I don't have to get that close to it. No, you really don't. How are you? Yeah, yeah, doing well, doing well, doing well. It's an absolute pleasure to see you guys here as well. I mean, this yeah. must be quite cathartic for you. It's nice to be back. It's great to be back, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're ready to... Uh, yeah? Yeah. Don't What's you find it weird being back? At first, yeah, but it's been two days now. Well, and have you been here? Yeah. We only came today, so... Okay. Just yeah. walking out there, just a bit like, what's going on? But it's good as well. Two years kind of just flown by. Yeah. It has. When it, it, it seemed to take ages while you're home, but mm. like as soon as you come back to it, it's like felt like I was here yesterday. Uh, Don't worry about it's, it. It's weird, but it's great. In that way. And talking of which, guys, the last 18 months or so, how have you guys been coping in the pandemic? Um, I mean, we've coped quite well, really. I don't know, like emotionally, it's been hard. Yeah. Because I'm just, especially for me, I'm just on tour all the time so I've got a tour business as well so I'm always around bands and stuff wow. so for it just to stop one day and that was it yeah for 18 just starting really starting to get back to normal not even normal but starting back up now it's like it's been hard for me but luckily we've released the record so we've been busy luckily we've been busy all the way through it really. yeah we have we worked our asses off still yeah, uh, yeah. I, don't, I think a lot of bands just stop with it but we've done, I mean, we released a record, we've got another one half row, haven't we? We've done, well, you've done loads of work behind the scenes, getting like festivals, everything, merch, everything, we've just like worked video, out. New videos and stuff. So new we've, videos, we've yeah. tried to just keep the band sort of in, in the public eye as much as possible. Well, that's the hardest thing, isn't it? Kind of keeping yourself in the public yeah. eye when nobody can do anything. No. Luckily, we've been able to do it, so we're probably one of them, them bands who've been able to somehow figure out that we can still do stuff, you know, so I don't know how we've done it really, but somehow we've done it. Do you kind of see this as the first sort of proper opportunity going forward to really kind of push from the album Hard to Kill? Yeah, I mean, like, it it is, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Definitely, it's the first major festival we've done since we've been back, so yeah, I just, I just can't wait to play really, just like play some new songs. But, yeah, I mean, it's going to be good. We are a couple of hours away from it. Um, do you still, I mean, it's a silly question really, but do you still get nervous? Do you still kind of have those butterflies? I don't think I get nervous. Yeah. I just get more excited yeah. about playing. Yeah, yeah it's know. more of an excitement. It's like, like my missus when I say off today, she goes, are you nervous? I was like, no. Yeah. No, just looking forward to getting up there. I know it's going to be a great crowd. Well, you're no strangers to this festival either. No, I mean, no. it's the third time playing. Yeah. We played the last one before COVID. Playing the first, so that's quite a history kind of thing for us as well yeah and it, i mean to be fair like it's more for me anyway it's more i'm excited to be back to work with the book because we all live so far away oh uh, yeah so yeah it's just nice to be all back together yeah you know seeing it like just hanging out it's yeah it's more really like nice. a, a a good lads night out than <laughs> yeah. oh you're going to do something and like all the families are all crazy the race the, the, like some of the coming from outside the band speed on fans are just the best fans I've ever met. Yeah. Uh, so you just know it's going to be a great show as long as we can play and we're not too drunk. Yeah. Do, you, yeah. do you find it kind of fascinating as well that you, you're still meeting people who have been with you for such a very long yeah. time? I don't want to age you, yeah. but I grew up with you guys. Yeah, it's crazy because some guys just come up to me there and it's like, I've seen you in 2002. <laughs> and it's really, it's, it's that you feel like a, a bit of an idiot when they go, do you remember me? I'm like, no, nah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Because, you know, we meet so many people on a day-to-day -day basis it's just it's just it's one of them things you can't unless you really connect with somebody it's, it's really hard to remember everybody of course i think but, the um, crazy thing for me though listening to the fans is a lot of them are coming back from that era aren't they? yeah and it's it, we seem to be bumping into a lot of people that saw speed on in that era and they're just loving this new album and it's like all coming back. It's yeah, almost like, they've, yeah, like you f forgot about you for a while, grew up on the gush and stuff like that, and then we're like, oh yeah, you disappeared, and now you're back, it's like, oh shit, that band I really love is here. And what I think's really good as well is the new me the new members who have come in, everyone's so accepting of them. Mm. You know, it's quite worrying when, yeah, of course. especially when an original member leaves, you're always like, oh, yeah. well people, especially with Dan, because he's took over John. Yeah, everyone, I was like... No one even, Really Wait for the crap on Facebook, you know what I mean? Uh, for me, and and it, didn't uh, happen, it didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, it's quite, 
you know, I've been quite accepted. It's lovely. It's really good. I really love it. So you guys have done the main stage and obviously the Sophie yeah. stage. Now, for me personally, it seems like you are suited for that tent. Yeah. What about you guys? What do you prefer? Yeah, definitely. Exactly we, what you just yeah. said. I don't think we suit that well. I mean, like, we've played main stage yeah. before, but I think our kind of sort of punky kind of... We, we like to be going in the crowd and all that kind of stuff where... It, yeah. yeah, it's just it's I mean, every, so far away from everybody. Yeah, everyone's yeah. saying, oh, you should be on the main stage, but that, that tent is great. It's amazing. It isn't like your normal tent that's a tiny thing, is it? No. It's a big tent. It's half the festival itself. Yeah. It's like the stage is great, the sound's even better. It's uh, the no, intensity it, of that uh, squashed in thing. Exactly. Yeah, and and that's, you, what, that's what we're all about. The crowd's right there. You just get in, you enjoy it, they love it. It's great yeah. atmosphere in that tent. Yeah, exactly. we're well excited about it. I mean, yeah, it was good there, but yeah, I think sometimes you, the energy from the crowd, you can't really get it. No, I get that. There, I just, get that. It's just there, it's just in your face, and I, I, I'm more into that. Are you guys planning to stay around the rest of the weekend? Um, I'm actually on holiday. <laughs> I'm just driven back to play this, and I'm going to drive, well, I'm supposed to drive back tonight, but yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, hope, I wish we could. Yep. The, I mean, to be fair, the only band I really want to see is Judas Priest. Ah, it's tomorrow, but isn't it? We're, but we're playing with them next year. Yeah, we are. In, yeah. Uh, well, Czech Republic. Yeah. yeah. So, Incredible. Uh, no, Poland. Poland, yeah. Yeah, we're playing. Yeah. There it is. You want to see Rage and Speed on and Priest together, yeah. you go to Poland next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBL.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there, that's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL, as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts, and of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?